All right, base of the gourmet. Yeah. Check that out, huh? What do you think? Got them off Amazon. I yeah, just went there and I typed in custom chef jacket. I'm sure as shit, here it is. Anyways, we're going to do a Caesar salad dressing today. Okay, it's really good dressing. Uh, we're going to start off, make a traditional. Then uh, what I like to do is uh, add a little heavy cream to it. I kind of make a creamy Caesar. So it's going to be kind of like two for one. You're going to get the traditional Caesar. And then we're going to add some cream to it and make a creamy Caesar. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, for starters, about three four cloves of garlic that chopped up real fine okay. I like dicing an onion I guess miniature form I'm gonna mix this together with the uh, anchovies and capers make a paste that's a good point. All right, so we've got about probably a tablespoon of capers. Okay. We've got four anchovy fillets, but I'll tell you what, I think. Mean, like three and a half. That's more about right. What we're going to do chop these capers and anchovies and everything. Pretty much want to make a paste out of this. Okay. Just take the side of the knife. Rub it. Keep working it. It's going to take a minute. I'm going to get this down to a, a paste. in a bowl. Add one egg yolk. Get some salt and pepper. A whole lot. Those anchovies are salty. Good about All right, a tablespoon of Dijon mustard. Fresh squeezed lemon juice. There's a fair half a lemon. Probably do. Looks pretty good. Whisking that together real good. So pretty good. Let's go ahead and put about probably a tablespoon of red wine vinegar. cup bottle. So we're probably going to use about half a cup. Slowly drizzle it in. If you go crazy and squirt that in real fast right now, it's going to break. It's going to be a foil slick. A nasty mess. Slowly go. Get your workout on this one. I'm making that paste and not doing this. That bottle was a little below the top. So another little. About a half cup. Next version olive oil. You can go half olive oil and a half vegetable oil if you don't like the real strong uh, olive oil flavor. Okay? Good. Now, this is pretty much the traditional. Okay? Just like that. Let's taste it. Maybe a little more. More red wine vinegar. First spoon. I 
pretty good right there. All right, so that's traditional right there. I'll put that in a bowl, toss in some romaine, and you got Caesar salad. But what I like to do, I like to add some cream. I got one cup here. I don't think I'll probably I might use it all. Use it between one cup and three quarter cup. See that? Creamy Caesar. This will thicken up a little too, because it sits in the fridge. So a little on the thin side. I'll go ahead and put the whole cup in. Yeah, look at that. Nice creamy Caesar. Mmm. Mm-mm. Get that taste. Mm. That's good. Nah, I like creamy. Hate to say it. Don't call me non-traditional. But man, I like the creamy Caesar. Pretty much filled our bottle up, topped off. We got enough in there to toss up a small salad, give it a taste. Alright, so we got that little bit there. That's enough for just a small salad. I can't resist. Gotta try it out. Good romaine here. That's enough. It's gonna be a pretty pretty small salad. What to do? Take that romaine right in the bowl. Toss it. Got just right. Get everything coated. Going and swimming. Perfect. Straight to Parmesan. Some croutons. Another good sauce. Tell you what, that is just. So, man, that's about, about as good as it gets right there for Caesar salads. All right, so there you have it. Some uh, Caesar salad dressing, based on gourmet. All right, let's give that a taste. I'll tell you what, it's looking, looking good. Oh yeah. Mm mm. Okay, we got throw some blackened shrimp on there. Piece of grilled chicken. We're making a meal.